Good morning and welcome to this uh, devotional series on living and loving like Jesus. This week we are looking at the topic of risk. And here's all I want to do for us here this morning. I want to read this passage from 2 Corinthians chapter 5 over you. And then all I want you to do after this video is maybe reread this passage yourself. Uh, but I definitely want you to take some time in prayer to ask the Lord to provide some moments for you specifically today or even this week to look for a chance to take some risks, whether that is in giving, whether that's being hospitable or sharing the gospel with somebody uh, or being vulnerable yourself. And so becoming more like Jesus, you know, causes us to maybe be more courage, uh, courageous in our lives. And so I want you to do is just to ask the Lord to provide for you some opportunities to take some risks, some leaps of faith today. So let me read this over you now. It is 2 Corinthians chapter 5. It is uh, verses 17 through 21. This is what Paul says. He says, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. All this is from God, who through Christ reconciled us to himself and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. That is, in Christ God was reconciling the world to himself not counting their trespasses against them and entrusting to us the message of reconciliation. Therefore, we are ambassadors for Christ, God making his appeal through us. We implore you on behalf of Christ, be reconciled to God for our sake. He made him to be sin who knew no sin so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. Let me pray over you. Lord, as these people who are watching this video today hear these words of being ambassadors for Christ, uh, being representatives for God, for you and the world, uh, Lord, may they take these words uh, to heart this morning, maybe look over them again, but definitely just spend time with you this morning uh, asking and looking for opportunities to take some risks for you today. So Lord, be with them and be with all of us today. In Jesus' name, amen.